Less than two years ago, Virginia became the latest in a group of states to legalize personal possession of marijuana. Yeah, but in the time since cannabis became more common here in the state of Virginia, some health experts are a little concerned about the growing number of young kids getting their hands on mm -hmm. it. Caroline Colburn had the chance to talk with a doctor at the Virginia Poison Control Center about a rise in the number of kids who are accidentally eating these edibles. Caroline. Well, Rob Reba, according to Dr. Ruddy Rose, the director of the Virginia Poison Center, he believes one reason that they're getting more calls about kids getting their hands on marijuana is because simple possession is now legal in the state, so some parents may not be afraid to call and say their child has ingested it. But he also says the packaging is geared towards looking like candy, so it makes kids want to get their hands on it more. Now, to put the number of this rise in perspective, we're going to break down exactly the numbers that we've seen. So in 2018, there were 90 calls to poison control related to marijuana across all age groups. But in 2022, there were 414. That's a more than 300% increase. Also in 2018, there were only three calls related to marijuana edibles in kids under age six. Last year, there were 88. That's a more than 1,000% increase. Now, Dr. Rose says he believes the number of children being treated in emergency rooms for cannabis could actually be higher than what we're seeing because some may end up in the ER and doctors don't find out that it's because of a marijuana product until they conduct a series of tests. 40% of poison center calls involve children. Um, and so in, of all those cases, about 13% of children um, end up being treated in a hospital. If you look at these marijuana edible products in children, three quarters or 78% are being treated in a hospital. And is, is almost 10% get admitted to an intensive care unit for monitoring. So, so this, is a, this is a big deal. Now, Dr. Rose says he would like Virginia to create legislation that would have guidelines for the packaging so to deter children from getting their hands on it. And he says also he wants to remind parents that if you have these products, keep them with your medication out of reach of your kids. Now, Rob Reba, coming up at 6.30, I'm going to break down some of the big cannabis bills up for debate in the General Assembly this session. All right, thank you, Caroline. Well, we're also learning calls to UVA Health's Blue Ridge Poison Center for Children unintentionally consuming marijuana products tripled from 2021 to 2022. In fact, take a look at this. In 2018, there was just one call. In 2019, four. 11 in 2020, and that jumped to 26 in 2021. Then 77 calls last year. The organization says 52 of those calls involved children ages five or younger with most patients requiring hospitalization. Children who accidentally consume marijuana edibles can experience these symptoms, rapid heart rate, low blood pressure, vomiting, confusion, hallucinations, profound sedation, and even seizures. Wow.